guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episodes 35 and 36 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 35 in 3, 2, 1, go. <coughs> Oh. You literally made a copy of your brother? I mean, damn. Oh, God. That is, oh. That's like, you know, you a little too far gone. I mean, he's just a puppet. Oh, fuck. If only he knew the truth that it wasn't the twin stars, that it was that fucking right there, but no! Oh. We know this is going to be the end of his downfall, right? Like he he's going to die by the end of this episode. I mean, come on now. This ain't gonna be a good episode for him. Like, he, he honestly, he's dying this week. I mean, come on now. It makes the most sense for it, but, like, I mean, who knows? No, I kind of wish I recorded one of these yesterday, but no, my freaking uh, damn video that I edited took, like, what, three hours? I edited it, like, at, what, eight, nine o'clock at night, so... It didn't, what time did I finish? Like, one, two? Yeah, I think that was when it was done. But, like, it took forever to freaking edit. Like, oh my god. But it's okay. I still got other stuff to do today, too. A puppeteer's revenge. More like a puppeteer's sacrifice, possibly. Oh. He already knows what you're gonna ask, though. Mm. 
Maybe it's just your imagination. Mm-hmm. But you need friends, though. Still there for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, just befriend Benny and Rocco and Maida. Technically, you're already friends with Maida. To make curry. It would have been good if Tokina go Oh my god. to be a big old JoJo reference. <laughs> Blame Kinnickle.
And then, of course, something pops up. Ain't it funny? Something always pops up when somebody walks out of a scene. Mm. Wait! <clears throat> By yourself, though? Mm-hmm. What do you see? Spider webs, of course. Basically, in a nutshell, Kitty Toe is coming to kill Tanjiro, guys. Why do we do the let's split up gang thing? Come on. Do we not learn anything from horror movies and Scooby-Doo? Where are you? The auditorium? Gymnasium? They're dolls of you. <laughs> they look so cute and creepy at the same time and I love it. See, I'm wondering if, like, his, his puppet twin brother, he gonna fight. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen, though. Big old misunderstanding, you know. But they didn't kill him.
so I'm guessing Rokoto is going to be the distraction. Benio is going to be the real thing to like do that and blow. Oh. Is it though? See, of course, the damn puppet! The puppet! <laughs> Uh-oh. The one time that I wish, like, Shion and fucking Maida would get their ass in here, but no. Finally, what took you two so long? Okay, once again, look, I understand. You are OP as fuck. God dang it. But you can't do this always on your own, though. If this don't kill him, I don't know what will. I mean, it would have made more sense if Rokuto and Benio were the ones to execute him, but no, I mean, go ahead, damn. <laughs> it's just a proud girlfriend. <laughs> Even if they're not officially dating yet. <laughs> I mean, so now, no matter what, you might be dying today. Oh.
Well, he is a, you know, he's a guardian for a reason. Are you, you fucking kidding me? That's why I felt a little too damn easy. The draw the student. I just want to know how the freak did you have the time to do all this? Like before we all even noticed. Kill everyone. This is fucked up. I mean, but oh, oh, big oh, oh, like, oh my god, I wasn't expecting him. He, I mean, seriously, because like once freaking Sean used his ox, I'm thinking, okay, that's it. All Benny and Rokoto have to do is use Res Ox, he's dead, and then we're done. But I'm like, at the same time, I'm like, this felt a little too flippin' easy. I mean, in a way, he was just like one step ahead of them no matter what and the fact is that he's going to make them like kill everyone that they love and care about friends students ish like that and then eventually have them go into the brink of despair and then kill them like oh that's dark that is really dark i mean you know is it Duncan Rope? But that kind of like I mean, cause uh, cause something would tell me Junko would do something like that because best girl and she would do anything in her power to have someone get to the brink of despair and then just kill him because that girl is so despair hungry. <laughs> it's not even funny. But I mean, yeah, honestly, this was a really interesting episode. But I, I think we but part two of this like Shinon he needs to learn more like there's no I in team yes there's an I in, in independence as fuck but um he needs to learn as you know Maida's father told her uh, told her him basically that yeah you need to have friends it's okay to be alone every once in a while but you need someone or a group of people that you necessarily care about that are there for you when the times do get rough and it, with him being the type of person that he is and he's always been alone and he is more like a prodigy because he's done something at such a young age age 14 and such um he looks down on having friends or someone close to him i mean like because uh, mm, <laughs> once he got do we put Maida in that category because the, the relationship of him and Maida, like, he's the, Maida's, like, the only one who, like, of course, is a weakness to him. Because, obviously, they both have crushes on each other, but they haven't really, like, done something yet. It, we're getting, like, okay, this is kind of how I said, like, yesterday with, um, or on Tuesday when I watched, uh, the, uh, oh my god, The Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent with the characters of Psy and Commander Hawk. They are literally, like, the chemistry, everything, sexual chemistry, tension, all that is, like, so freaking high. Like, it, it's so obvious. Like, you can look at them and you're just like, oh my god, y'all look so fucking cute. And it's the same thing with these two. And it's the same thing with Rokoro and Benio. And you're just sitting here every single week and wondering, okay, when they, why don't they, like, oh my god, like, to, just do it and such. And, and, you know, when you get to that, when you finally get to a moment where it's just like, yes, it is finally here, they're going to kiss her, they're, they're going to embrace her, something, you're just like, yeah. But I feel like by the end of this next episode, um, 
Shimon is really going to accept the fact that, you know, maybe I need to be friends with these people and such. And maybe also, like, involving his, like, mm, yeah, involving his relationship with Maida. Or maybe expressing, like, feelings to Maida that, yeah, okay, I also have feelings for you, too. It would be nice, but, like, I'm just saying, who knows how the hell this next episode is going to end. But, of course, like, you know... <laughs> Kitty Tobasa, of course, he's dying. Like, I'm sorry, there is no way in hell that this guy is going to survive for um, another two weeks into the series, since we are almost very close to being done with this show. But I like speculation, 100%. He's dying in episode 36. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 36. Okay, episode 36 in three, two, one, go. All right, let's see if this dude dies today. Cause I mean, come on, come on! It makes the most sense to kill him. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't even do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, hold on, hold on. I get the fact that no matter what they do, <laughs> by cutting the the webs, never would think that spider webs would be able to kill you, but like, I, <laughs> whatever, pull your boat. I mean, even if they cut one of them off the wings, like, he still dies? Like, oh my, mm. What the fuck is that? Like, oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Crazy. Very, very crazy as fuck. Mm-hmm.
Really? <laughs> That's like me wanting to buy like something for Pretty Cure, but I ain't gonna buy it until next month. I had to use my money on something this month. <laughs> Plus, the fact is, I gotta pay bills and stuff on my streaming services. But damn, even in the bathroom? Still bad at the cost of your life, though? I mean, once again, seriously, no I in team! But then your job is also to stay the fuck alive. I mean, damn. Your duty. You're not about to. <gasps> Seriously, was that easy? Baby growing up, oh my god. <laughs> I know, honestly. As a fucking team. Yes.
my useful baby, oh my god. I'm never going to probably look at spider webs the same way again because, you know, oh God, never forget your first time when you walk <laughs> right into a spider web and you're just like, mm, no, nah. because <laughs> I don't like spiders. <laughs> oh. Let's thank God I don't live in Australia because <laughs> big ass spiders. <laughs> This just gives me like Night of the Living Dead feels or even Resident Evil vibes. Except instead of zombies, they're spiders. <laughs> Honestly, now he look like a damn blade blade. <laughs> I am so... That's right. It just gave me feels to high school DXD, even though I've only watched like three, four episodes of that show.
So we good? Got all the students? No. So you have to at least wait until Shimon defeats the Basa, and maybe. Jesus. The puppets that he made. God dang it. Oh my god. Are you serious? That's why he had them around in certain places. You're supposed to stop it. Oh. Job up at all. Mm hmm.
Stop it. Don't give me yaoi today. Like, oh. So cute, Tommy! <laughs> yeah, basically. Once again, your sacrifice is necessary. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing, like, by maybe what? Okay, so this was 35 and 36. His story might end by episode 40 and then 41 to the end of the series. We're going back to uh, Utah, possibly, because still something tells me Utah is still around here somewhere, you know, making his own plan, waiting until the right time to come. But yeah, finally today, like, Shinon, he, he learned there is no I in team, and that teamwork is the dream. What makes the dream work, and that you need to have friends no matter what. Oh my god, like, yes, you can still be emo as fuck. Don't get me wrong, because, yeah, number one, you're still like fucking my husband, Doneko, inside, <laughs> but you just need to have friends. And I think by the by the beginning of this series, like, he is 100% like Neku, like, straight up emo. If you've played The World Hunts with you, or you're currently watching The World Hunts with you, the animation, you, you can see it. But towards, like, the, um, the last game that's currently happening for the Reaper's game in the game, in the series, um, of course, he's more calming, he smiles, and it's just the same thing so much. And I love it. Like, oh my god. He pressed his baby boy. Like, everybody did so fucking good. You killed Kirito, guys. Like, oh my god. I thought I never would say that out of my mouth. But Kirito died not once, but twice. <laughs> but, like, oh shit. Like, mmm. <laughs> You look so pretty. Like, oh my god. Damn it. Ugh. It might happen, but who knows? We ain't going to until next week. But it might be happening! Oh, shit! Let's go! Oh, my God. He might tell her he has feelings for her. Oh, my God. Let's go. But whatever it is, of course, that he's going to find the news that, you know, it, it has to be really important because of the fact is everybody in the 12 Guardians is being summoned. And, of course, it has to do with the missing exorcist, I'm guessing. Um, but of course we ain't gonna know what's next week, but oh, if it's gonna be what I think it's gonna be, like, if we, oh god, if we get just that moment between him and Mina, that's it! I will 
freaking be happy. Be like, oh my god. But then it'll be at the same time waiting for Benny on Rocco to finally do something. Which, I mean, oh god. <laughs> once again, the will they, won't they, or why haven't they, like, oh my freaking god, 30-something episodes into this show, we're almost done with the Zam series, and it's like, will y'all freaking just do it already? Like, oh my god, like, Jesus Christ. I, oh. <laughs> oh! This is the one thing that I love about, like, series that have like a, a teensy weensy little bit of romance in it because it's just like dude just 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 let it go let it be let it work destiny but no like you can't give me that and i'm just over here like please please so but yeah rest in peace kitty toe mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god i mean jesus like this was a really good two-part episode really like the stakes since we're getting closer and closer to the end of the series, are really high now. I mean, yes, when you're looking at literally, like, everybody in this cast, you're looking at everyone wondering, uh, and it's kind of how me looking at the cast of Demon Slayer, even though I, I'm not reading the manga and I don't know whatever the fuck is going to happen next. Um, so here's a big... Okay, this is what I'm going to go ahead and say. I'm going <laughs> to... Okay. <laughs> this will be a spoiler towards... um. The Mugen Train movie. So if you have not seen Mugen Train, go ahead and stop the video now. Um, if you have and you just don't care or you just don't really care about spoilers, you can go ahead and keep watching. So three, two, one. Okay. So in the movie, after I finished watching and doing a reaction, having, you know, when Rank Goku dies and ish and you're sitting here, you're probably either crying like I did or you're just your emotions are like everywhere and such. And you look at the rest of the cast of the series and, and looking at this cast of this show, um, and we haven't we've had only like one person out of everybody in this show died, but that was just a person who was like, um, Oh, was a little important, not like hugely impact. Now, if it was somebody from the 12 Guardians dying, then it would make the most sense. So now, even though like comparing this cast to the Demon Slayer cast and having someone maybe somewhat important to them die in both of their series, you're looking at the rest of the cast and wondering, okay, are you going to make it to the end? Are you going to make it to the end? Are all y'all going to make it to the end? Because at the same time, because if you know like... That one death that just resonates with everybody and everyone ends up crying over it, even though I don't really feel like we've gotten a death like that except Sai, but that was only for her to return to the tree. But it was still like really impactful towards me and of course Benny O'Mokoto because they treated her like their own kid. But at the same time, like when you're comparing it to something like Demon Slayer and having Rengoku die and even though <laughs> you only get like this much of him in the anime and then you get a whole movie about him and you instantly get attached to him whether you, you know when you're watching the anime and plus watching the movie and then ultimately when he meets his end it is the hardest thing to watch and even now like I'm looking at <laughs> once again looking at all these characters and I'm over here like I don't want to cry again over y'all, like, but I know, I, I, I really surely am, like, I think we're, we're looking at the cast of this series, like, we might get another tearjerker moment, I'm not 100% sure, um, but, I mean, yeah, because there are some characters in this series that I am really attached to, and then there are ones where I'm like, eh, I don't really give a crap about you, so, but I might cry a little bit over you, because, you know, you are important to the plot of the series, but, I get that, but I mean, other than that, these two were really good episodes, but just, once again, the stakes, and possibly even the depths of this might get bigger, so I, I don't know. We are, we're all very, very close to the end of the series, and who knows how the hell this is gonna, like, end, if it's gonna end happily for everyone, only really the people who have watched this show truly from beginning to end know how the fuck this is gonna end. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 35 and 36 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons, and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 37 and 38. Bye, guys!